In this problem, we will find the data value that corresponds to a given percentile when the random variable is normally distributed. The scores of a reference population on the Weschler Intelligence Scale for Children are normally distributed with mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. A child's score on the WISC represents the 82nd percentile. What was the child's actual score? Here we have an appropriately labeled normal distribution. The scores are normal with mean 100 and standard deviation of 15. We label the mean. 1, 2, 3 standard deviations above the mean, and 1, 2, 3 standard deviations below the mean. Where is the score that corresponds to the 82nd percentile? We can approximate this using the empirical rule, or the 68, 99.7% rule. We know that one standard deviation above the mean is approximately the 84th percentile. Let's review why that is. We know from the empirical rule that 68% of the area is within one standard deviation above the mean, with, with, within one standard deviation of the mean. 34% of the area under the curve will be between the mean and one standard deviation above the mean. The mean is also the median, so 50% of the area is below the mean. 34% is between the mean and one standard deviation above the mean. 50 plus 34 gives us the 84th percentile. So the data value that corresponds to the 82nd percentile will be a little bit less than 115, but we don't know the actual value. The 82nd percentile is the data value, the WISC score, that has 82% of the area under the curve to the left of that value, and we are looking for that value in this problem. We can solve this problem using the standard normal table. If we can find the z-score that corresponds to the 82nd percentile in a standard normal distribution, then we can convert back to the normal distribution with mean 115. So let's go to the standard normal table and try and find this z-score that corresponds to the 82nd percentile. In this table we want to find the data value that has 82 percent of the area to the left of that value. So what we need to look up is we need to find in the body of the table where 0.82 lies. Looking in the table, we see that 0.82 is between these two values. And the z-score that corresponds to the 82nd percentile in the standard normal distribution will be between 0.901 and 0 0.902. 0.82 is almost in the middle of those two numbers. So we will say that our z-score that corresponds to the 82nd percentile is 0.915. The z-score corresponding to the 82nd percentile and the standard normal distribution is 0.915. Does that make sense? It sure does. We knew that it was going to be close to one standard deviation above the mean. What is one standard deviation above the mean in terms of z-scores? That one standard deviation above the mean has a z-score of 1. Now we need to use this z-score to find the data value that that corresponds to in a normal 115 random variable. Let's write the formula for a z-score. A z-score is equal to the data value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Let's fill in what we know. We know the z-score is 0 0.915. We're looking for the data value. The mean of the distribution is 100, and the standard deviation is 15. Rearranging this formula to solve for our data value x, we see that x is approximately 113.7. And we have that the 82nd percentile of a normal 115 